All right, guys. The last ride. The last ride in Czechia. <laughs> and we're, we're riding pretty light, actually. Oh, let me go into the shade. I'm packing all of my bags and everything, and I'm having Honza pick up most of them and then take them to Azub. And so all I have are my side bags, which is cool. And uh, so we're just going to take a nice leisurely ride back to Azub. Today we have to pack up the trike, break it into pieces, put it in the boxes. We'll be leaving for the airport at 1 o'clock in the morning. I am going to take a different way home. I'm going to turn on this road here. And then we're going to follow the countryside, I think, most of the way back. <laughs> I've been here for weeks, and I haven't taken this ride, but I know it's possible. It cost me an extra $250 on the first leg of the flight using Ryanair to add on two pieces of luggage and the bike and an extra carry-on. All of that stuff cost an extra 250 bucks. <laughs> so Ryanair, which is typically like a budget airline, Pretty expensive. After I get to Dublin, I'm gonna to have to recheck my stuff and take a WestJet flight. And I think WestJet will be a little bit more appropriate, more accommodating. Hello. Let's hope so. Because <laughs> if it's another 250, that's an expensive trip back. I'm a little nervous to see how small this thing compacts down. I'm sort of excited though about getting this trike back to Portland and before I make any sort of big move back to Detroit and, uh, and I'm forced to reckon with the chaos that has developed over the last few weeks or months with regards to my van, I'd like to spend some time in Portland and hanging out with some of my recumbent friends, go on some sort of a ride. And I'm going to have to rebuild the trike, which is going to be fun. Uh, there's a company called Rose City Recumbents in Portland that is an Azeb dealer. I've been dealing with Mel. Actually, Mel is the person that kind of helped establish a connection with uh, Hansa. But uh, the dealer for Azeb is called Rose City Recumbents. So um, I'm going to probably visit them, say hello. Maybe they can help me to uh, put, the, put the trike back together and then I'll ride over Recumbent PDX and we'll do some fun group rides and you know maybe maybe we can bring together the whole recumbent community in uh, in Portland <sighs> this van thing though yeah once you start hearing more about this I wonder if you're gonna be as frustrated as I am maybe So I'm at the uh, Azeb shop and uh, one thing that I'm going to do while I'm here is, is I want to get a picture of all of us together uh, with the trike. So that like the employee picture of all the Azeb people. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my Jayo hat as a memorial. They have a wall of travelers and so I'm going to donate this. I'm also going to donate one of my Jayo flags over there. So we'll monitor to the wall. That is something we'll do a little bit later. But yeah, this hat didn't survive as long as some of my other hats, to be honest. Some of my other ones did pretty well, but I restitched. The, if you guys remember in Thailand, I restitched this like ten times, getting it perfect. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> All right, the process of tearing the trike down has begun. Is that one of the boxes that'll work for me? Yes, this is light to one. Uh, try to get it out. Can you? Yeah. You no longer use it, so it's perfect. Well, let's just take one well. thing off at the tray. Hey, that was easy. Yeah. Better to 
It's so funny to have so much time invested in watching the process of building this thing, you know? And then now I'm going through the process of haphazardly disassembling it. And haphazardly because um, we're gonna carry this on a plane and I don't wanna get held up because they think it's like a brand new trike and then I gotta pay taxes on it. So having it a little dirty, having it packed a little bit sloppily, and obviously it doesn't have to be packed like it's going air freight it's just being carried on a plane so it doesn't need to be as careful but we're leaving some of the some of the some of the dirt on there <laughs> to, to give it a give it the effect of, of a used trike not like a brand new trying to skirt customs trike that's <laughs> kind of funny So check this out. This is this is what is called extreme folding or ultra folding. Basically, this is the frame whoop, all the way long. The bottom part folds under, and I think that the clamp here is going to get in the way. But then the the front part folds over too, and it sort of folds on top of itself. So I mean, I almost feel like I can fit that in my. <laughs> Yeah, my this luggage. one, yes, but then the wheels. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at how small that thing is. That's a Time Fly X. That's incredible. I don't know if you guys can appreciate this, but this is really, really, really tiny. <laughs> this is my trike. Except for the wheels and the seat. And it's not that heavy either. All right, this is this is the trike. Trike in a box. Smaller than I thought. All right guys, this is what we got. We got a backpack. That's 10 kilos. We got this carry-on. This is 10 kilos. I had to pay 20 euro more to carry it on. There's the bike box. This is 30 kilos and that was 60 uh, euro. There's a spare luggage which is this which has to be under 20 kilos it's 20 kilos exactly and uh, that was 44 dollars 44 euros more and then there's my other luggage and this was 44 euros more i also got a seat on the plane that was six euros and uh slowly and surely it adds up here and there and here and there but We've, we've balanced all the weight, so I'm gonna seal that box up and we will be good to go. The big one. The big box. The big bag. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I would probably strap this. What do you mean, like strap it with, uh, do we have them? With the... Uh, you mean at, at the airport? Oh, you mean like just tape? Yeah. Run tape around it? Not okay. tape, the, the stretch folly. Oh, oh. It's 554. Well, just bring a roll and I'll do it. We'll do it when we get... Goodbye, Azub. <laughs> it's but been we, fun. Yeah, whatever, we take the other car. Oh, we're gonna come back here? I gave my hat to the crew at Azub, so now I have to wear the Azub hat. I have to. I have to. <laughs>
we're going to the train station because uh, Hans's family says they wanted to say goodbye and have some ice cream. Is that, is that only one car? It looks very short, that train. Jump in. Hello, hello. Go survey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, oh. Full sentence. <laughs> Full sentence. <laughs> what are you reading? What kind of book? She's reading about Emily and she's a girl from the sea. Oh. Je to ho holka like a mermaid? She can change. To a fish? To, to fish. Mermaid? To, to yeah, that's a mermaid. The mermaid. That's mermaid. a mermaid. Yeah, 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 mermaid. Cool. They gave me some poppy cakes. Another one. More poppy cakes. If the airline arrests me, I have to blame you guys. Buff, buff, buff. Buff, buff, buff. I'm going to hear it. I'm going to hear it. I know. Poppy. It's good. Another poppy. <laughs> Always poppy. Always. So much poppy. Babička, babička. Dědeček, babička. Babička, babička. Babička, babička. Babička, babička. Babička. It's granny. It's granny. Granny, granny. Juliet, say goodbye. Say goodbye to the camera. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I will miss you. I will miss you. She's sweet. A little dramatic, but sweet. Janičku, pojď říct kameře ahoj. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, kameře. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Oof. Both means woof, right? Woof, woof. Yeah, yeah. Woof dělá pes, protože pes dělá hav a v angličtině je to woof. Bye bye. Bye, Aleška. And now without camera. And now without camera. Bye bye.